New question. The member from Renfrew, Nipissing, Pembroke. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the uh, Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Back in December of 2016, the minister received a proposal from the Ontario Personal Support Workers Association requesting the right to become the provincial governing body of personal support workers. In their request, they highlighted the greater need and increased role of our hardworking PSWs. Due to the increased need for home and community care, there are many more PSW in today's health care system. Never too late to get a warning. As I said, there are many, many more PSWs in today's health care system than in years past. As such, it has become apparent that there is a great need for oversight, which includes a governing body that oversees the needs of PSWs and their responsibilities, and more importantly, the needs of their clients. Speaker, the minister has stated that he is supportive of a health care system that protects all patients and health care providers. Question. Therefore, can he tell us when we can expect a response or action regarding this proposal? Thank you. Minister of Health, Long-Term Care. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the question. And the member opposite is correct that uh, the ministry has received a proposal from the association uh, representing our PSWs. And, and I think I speak for everyone, Mr. Speaker, in this legislature that we have such great respect for the thousands upon thousands of PSWs that are working in every facet of our health care system. They are often our unsung sung heroes, Mr. Speaker, doing incredibly important work to the highest quality, and I want to express my appreciation for that. And part of that, Mr. Speaker, Part of that appreciation has been reflected in the fact that we have increased the minimum wage for our PSWs in this province by $4 an hour. So the minimum threshold for that minimum wage now is at, stands at $16.50, Mr. Speaker. We are, are so invested in elevating this profession to where it should be, to be recognized for the important Thank work you. that they do. Thank you, Speaker. Back to the minister. The question wasn't about wages. The minister is well aware that the time to make decisions regarding health care is now. The system can't wait any longer. With an aging population and our health care services being rationed, it is imperative that his government take action. The OPSWA's proposal is, comp is comprehensive and outlines the importance of safety, accountability, legitimacy, trust, and oversight, things the government claims to uphold. Speaker, the minister has acknowledged the important and expanding roles of our PSWs in our health care system. How much longer will all PSWs have to wait for the validation, the validation they deserve? Yeah. 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 Thank, you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, we as a government are validating our PSWs. We've created a $10 million annual fund for PSW training so that they can enhance their training, Mr. Speaker. We've created a common curriculum and educational standard for our PSWs. We, uh, Mr. Speaker, last year alone, we added $80 million to home and community care where many of our PSWs work, resulting in an additional $1.3 million hours of PSW work in our homes and communities, Mr. Speaker. We've added 2,500 PSWs in our long-term care homes since 2008. We're looking at this proposal, that aspect of regulation and oversight, and really to give the respect and the elevation to the pre profession that it deserves is one important element of our Answer. stabilization strategy. We're looking at their proposal as we're looking at other options, Mr. Speaker.